It's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm mad at myself. Let me show y'all why. Let me grab my phone. It is 11.35 p.m. at night and I'm just now getting around to doing this wash and go. Why I waited so long, I don't know, but I'm dedicated to this, y'all. I wanted to provide y'all with the video, so if I'm up till two or three o'clock in the morning, I'm up till two and three o'clock in the morning. But anyways, <laughs> as you can tell, most of y'all know who have been rocking with me, I am going to be doing a wash and go. I picked up some TGIN Miracle Repair RX products a while ago because they came out with the line like two years ago, three years ago, it's been out for a while. I would say two years ago. But then they released earlier this year the Miracle Repair X Mirror Curl Styling Gel. And ever since my girl Dominique Decrease, Decrease, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your last name, but I love her here on YouTube. She did a wash and go video using this gel. So I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and pick this up. Plus, I have tried another TGIN gel, the rose water gel, which gave me amazing day one hair. Like, one of my best wash and goes ever, but it was super drying when I used it with just the leave-in. And so I actually went back and used it with a cream. So a leave-in, a cream, and then the gel. And I liked it then, so I already knew not to play myself. I had gone ahead and picked up the leave-in, the matching leave-in. I wanted to get the Miracle Repair Curl Food, the moisturizer from this line, but then I put myself on a no-buy that I ended up breaking anyways. But my girl Tammy, hey Tammy if you're watching this, she came through and told me she had an extra one. So boom, she sent it to me, the Miracle Repair RX Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. So we're going to be using all three of these products for my wash and go. I've used the deep conditioners, the regular deep conditioner and also the protein reconstructor before and I absolutely love them both. So we're going to use the rest of the line today. But first, before we get into this wash and go, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and hop into this wash and go and see what kind of results we can get today. My hair is freshly washed, cleansed deep conditioned, all that good stuff. And after I rinsed out my deep conditioner, I went ahead and applied my leave-in in the shower. Like I said, I used the Miracle Repair RX Protective Leave-In Conditioner with black castor oil and biotin into my hair. And it felt really good, felt moisturizing. I really love the smell of this line. It smells so good. Um, let's get into the ingredients a little bit. First five ingredients are water, raw black honey, castor seed oil, coconut oil, agave extract. So let's take a look at the rest of these ingredients. So it has biotin pretty high up in the list of ingredients, which isn't exactly protein, but it does strengthen your hair. There is some shea butter towards the middle of the list of ingredients. There's some kapawasu butter in here. There is some dimethicone pretty low on the list of ingredients, which they use dimethicone in their deep conditioner, so I'm not surprised at all that it's in the leave-in. But I don't really see any aloe vera juice in here, and I don't see outright protein, but like I said, biotin, um, does strengthen your hair. So since that is already added to my hair, I actually am gonna go in section by section and add in the Miracle Repair Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. It has a similar first five ingredients as well. It has water, raw black honey, it has coconut oil, it has agave, it has papaya extract. There is some glycerin, there's some shea butter, there's another um, silicone, a mod methicone. I've never heard of that one. So it has aloe vera leaf juice, a pretty um, towards the bottom of the list of ingredients it has hydrolyzed soy protein okay so basically you got everything that I normally point out so I'm just gonna break this section into two sections and then go in Ooh, it's really thick y'all let me go ahead and show y'all sorry I've already gone ahead and <laughs> put my hand in it it is thick this is almost like a butter 
yeah we're gonna go light handed with this because I don't want it to be like over moisturized and overpower the gel sometimes if you use a super moisturizing cream underneath it can overpower the gel and you may not get the hold that you want it with the gel so like I said we're not going to use too much but it feels really good it feels moisturizing it has slip I forgot to mention the um, leave-in conditioner has some s slip to it as well okay so we're gonna go ahead and add some to this section So we're gonna get into this gel. Let's see what the claims are. This is the Miracle Repair Mirror Curl Styling Gel with black castor oil and biotin. Firm hold styling gel that helps to reduce breakage and strengthen hair. This gel is actually pretty thick. It is a true gel in my opinion. Hopefully I didn't get too much. I might have. I'm gonna wipe a little bit off my hands. It feels very thick. Okay, but it feels moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's taking away from any of the moisture that I added with the leave-in and the daily moisturizer. Okay, I'm starting to feel the hold. At first I wasn't with that first pump, but I just went in with the second pump. Oh no, y'all, I feel like I have to keep going in because although I feel the hold, I don't know. I feel like it's not defining my curls as much as I expected it to. Or maybe I'm just being picky. Maybe it's the lighting and I can't really see. Okay, there's there I'm I'm tripping y'all. There's some definition. There is definitely some definition. I'm going to continue to apply the daily moisturizer and big sections. Apply the what is this thing called? Mirror curl styling gel in small sections to each section and then I will show y'all once my hair is all done, the wet results and all that good stuff. While I'm applying both of the products to my hair, I'm gonna let you know what the directions are per TGIN. So it says on soaking wet hair, apply a small amount of the TGIN Miracle Repair RX protective leave-in conditioner to wet hair and followed by the TGIN Miracle Repair RX and Miracle Styling Gel. So it doesn't say anything about using the daily moisturizer, but I'ma use it anyways. <laughs> because like I said, I like to add a moisturizer to my hair, especially when a gel is more drying. Not sure if this gel is going to be drying, but I just want to be on, on the safe side. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'm praying that I don't get flakes, but I, of course, will let y'all know. For the ingredients, the top five is water, aloe vera juice, raw black honey, castor seed oil, and agave extract. Um, there's also some biotin towards the bottom of the ingredient. There isn't any coconut oil. There's no shea butter. There is no direct protein, and there also isn't any glycerin. And I'm happy to see that there isn't glycerin in this gel because gels with glycerin make me a little bit nervous. But we don't have to worry with this gel because there isn't any glycerin. I am back. It's the next day. This is what my hair is looking like. I'm just gonna show y'all what it looks like before I even say anything. But I'm sure you probably know what I'm going to say. First of all, I've been loving this deep side part. I was gonna say right part. Is it on my, yeah, it is on my right. I was like, wait, is it on my right or my left? This deep right side part. Y'all know I'm a middle part type of girl, but this, deep side part is just doing something for me and I've actually been doing it the past couple of um wash and goes that I've done I've done a few off camera 
But anyways, I love this wash and go. Let's get into my review. I feel like I really love TGIN leave-ins. They're so moisturizing, they're so creamy. They pair with a lot of different things. At least my rose water one I know pairs with a lot of different things, so I suspect that this will pair with a lot of different things as well. Mirror Curl Repair Curl Food Daily Moisturizer actually was a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. A little bit goes a long way. This is going to last me a while. Continue to use this for my wash and goes, especially when I have drier gels. I think this would pair well with my more drying gels. There's no flaking or anything paired with the leave-in. For the gel, this is the type of gel that I typically like. <laughs> because this gave me crunchy hair and I love a little crunch y'all. These past couple of gels that I've been using don't give me a crunch, which is fine. I know crunch is not everyone's cup of tea, but whenever I have a bomb wash and go that is a little bit on the crunchy side or a lot of it on the crunchy side, I know that my wash and go is going to last until I wash my hair in a week. I just know it's going to last. Also, this um, gel clumps my hair. I've been missing a clumped wash and go as well. My other wash and goes have been giving me shingling vibes, but this is giving me juicy clumped curls. Like, oh, y'all, I'm in love. I prefer clumped hair over shingled hair, which is why I don't ever take the time to shingle in the first place but it just, it looks so good. My only gripe about it is that I had to use a lot, in my opinion, in order to feel like my hair um, was defined. So I would go in and add what I considered a lot of product, but then I still felt like my hair wasn't defined, so then I would go in with more and more, so much so that I'm already like down to here. And this is a 13 ounce fluid jar, so. I don't suspect that this will last me very long. I'm a third of the way down, so this seems to only last me like three wash and goes. It's a very thick gel, but even though it's a thick gel, it does distribute throughout your hair well. It's just that my hair didn't seem to find, so that's why I went in with a lot of product. Not because it didn't distribute well, but because I just felt like it wasn't doing anything at first, so I had to go in with a lot of product. This wash and go so far is moisturized. It is day one, of course, so. Typically, day one, my hair is moisturized, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be lacking in the moisture department. Now, is this gel like super moisturizing? I wouldn't say it's super moisturizing. Like, this is not a kinky curly custard. This is not Uncle Funky's daughter's curly magic. This is not Camille Rose Curl Maker. This is a gel gel, <laughs> which I do like. But overall, I'm very, very satisfied with this combo. I didn't get um, much flaking. I have little, like little micro flakes. I went to town with this gel, so I'm surprised it's not flaking more than the little like micro flakes, which don't really bother me, but Y'all, I am loving, loving, loving. <laughs> I'm loving this wash and go. It looks so good, y'all. I'm I'm so happy about this. Also, with this gel, something that I noticed is that my hair shrinks up a lot compared to other gels that I use. My hair doesn't shrink up as much, but with this one, it shrinks up a lot. So I had to stretch my hair to the gods because my hair was literally like right here and typically i don't get shrinkage that much um at least with these other gels that i've been trying out lately this one my hair was like yeah we we gonna shrink up i just want to let you know that you gonna have to stretch this bad boy out because it will shrink a lot but anyways <laughs> I hope that y'all enjoyed this review, um, enjoyed this wash and go. I love trying out different wash and go combos. I've been loving my wash and goes. I've missed them so much. Y'all know I wasn't doing them for a while and now I'm back. Um, I'm not doing them all the time, but when I do do them, they've been, they've been popping y'all. So 
I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Have you tried this new Miracle styling gel before? It's not like new new, but it's kind of new. Have you tried it before? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!